Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota, Tim! I just thought I'd get you this little shot here before the lights time out. The front end of that Super Crusher. Super Crusher with the crasher behind it. Way down here in Fort Myers, about 55 miles south of Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, Florida. And I'm happy to uh, promote and tell you guys that everything is awesome. Uh, 65, 70, it doesn't even matter. She is back there towing so comfortably, so smooth. Uh, the only thing I've got, it's really weird and I'm, I'm annoying. It's, it's something is popping when I turn. And I know that the, uh, it's dark back here. Let me see if I can turn my lights on one more time. See if I can get you guys a little light on the subject. Um, yeah, this here is a uh, anti-sway bar and it can chatter you know when you turn but there's something popping i think it's these chains are in here popping that's what it is i think that's what it is popping between here i need to get that out it needs to be over here something is absolutely um when i turn uh so Put that light back on again. Yeah, I need to somehow let me get that out of there. See if I can do it right now. See? Uh, can that come out? Oh gosh. It's not. So this link needs to be over here, I think. Something's popping. Let me go check the other one too. What a nice, you know, normally you say, well, it's it's getting 7.8. It was at 8.2 and I took it up to 70 and drove about 10 miles uh, just to see how it'll do. And the gas mileage hasn't come back up to the 8.2 yet. And we're a long ways from uh, Key West, so we'll find out in the end. But it's basically eight miles per gallon, which is what the Tundra was getting. And let me see if this one's popping over here. See, let me let me put the light on. I'll show you. If, yeah, he's got the links on that side. No, let me see. Hang on, let me turn the light on. Okay. Oh, that one's free and clear. See, it's not wedged in here or over here. That's what the problem is over there. So I'm gonna have to jack the camper up. Uh, but look, I don't think that I need these sway bars. I don't know. I want to take those off and just try and tow without it and see what happens. Uh, you know, for a little ways, and if not, I'll put them back on. But uh, what do we got here? What is our what are our numbers? Uh, we've got. You guys can read it for me and tell me in the comments of what the uh, weight of this camper is and the tire pressure but this truck is awesome um, i'm on cruise control too by the way i'm using tow haul mode and then i went to manual there's a manual shift you push the button on the end of the um, the, the gear shifter and it turns it from uh, drive to m uh, meaning you can shift with a little plus and minus you know manually shift it and i just left it in regular drive it is in tow haul and um, it's staying in um, eighth and ninth gear in tow haul, and it holds the cruise control absolutely fine. So, you know, that's, that's what it is, that's the update. Now I'm gonna go in and get a cup of coffee, and I just wanna let you guys know, I got up at three o'clock, 3.30, and I had coffee at the house, and now I'm uh, on the road. Let's go in here and get us a senior coffee. Take a look at that rig, everybody. Let me back out here for you. A normal zoom. That's the rig right there. It is long. I appreciate everybody's comments, by the way, uh, regarding, you know, try this, try that. You know, lose that contraption. Just put it on the ball. Uh, all these ideas, all these different uh, Reese and Kurt hitches, the Henley, the Hensley. And all these other ones that are $2,500, not. 
Uh, we're not gonna, you know, we can't get much better than what we're doing right now uh, with that big three-quarter ton F-250 Super Crusher.